guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Destiny, if you guys have never been here. For today's video, I am sharing some tips with you guys for online school and how to make sure we do our best, basically. So because of Corona, a lot of schools are doing like remote learning um, and all my classes got switched to online. My campus is actually having some in-person classes. So some students will have classes um, in person which I've heard of them having maybe like one or two classes in person and the rest online um, but in my case I have all my classes online yeah and I've been seeing a lot of like YouTube videos like well videos on my YouTube feed I guess um, about like online tips I haven't actually gone to watch them yet but I was like wait like this is a great idea to help people out and also like help myself out because this is the first time that we're ever experiencing something like this. I've never had like fully online classes in like a regular full on semester. But anyway, I think a lot of these tips are helpful regardless of if you're going in person or you have classes online. But I am gonna be focusing on online only. Um, so before I keep rambling on because I can do that, let me tell you. Um, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Wait, one last thing before the actual video. Try to ignore like the 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 lights reflection on my glasses because it's so annoying. But I'm blind and I just kind of need my glasses, you guys. Okay, so let's go ahead and get right into the video. Tip number one is to try and keep the same schedule as you would if you had classes in person. So this means waking up at the same time, eating meals at the same time, doing your homework at the same time. If your class is not having like Zoom meetings or anything like that for class, try to still like do your work for that particular class during the time that class would be normally scheduled if that makes any sense. If you have a class at 9 a.m. but you're not meeting during Zoom, try to do the work at 9 a.m. 9 through 10, whatever, however long your class is. That This is really gonna help you like keep the routine up. Um, I tend to personally like routines because I know what's next and I kind of have it all planned out. Tip number two is to have a planner. I mean, I think planners are essential even if you're having like regular classes like in person and I've been getting a planner since I started college just because I tend to forget things. But yeah, I think especially because we are going to be online, it's easier to forget things. So just make sure you have a planner and just write every single thing down. My favorite planners are the ones that have like the monthly and the weekly, um, but obviously you can get whichever one works best for you. Um, so tip number three is to keep in touch with your professor. Make sure you have their emails or some professors give out their phone numbers and everything so you guys can text them. Um, make sure you keep that with you. Make sure you don't lose it. Uh, make sure you just like communicate with them. I think that's like a huge thing, especially right now that everything is online. But like I said, this is also really, really important if they are like face-to-face -face classes and even if Corona wasn't a thing. I think it's still important to communicate with your professors because you never know when you're going to miss a deadline or you have something that is happening during an exam or anything um, or when you need an extension or extra credit or something. Um, but yeah, try to keep in touch with your professors, especially right now because everything, majority of things will be happening online. The next tip is to keep a designated area for your schoolwork, where you're going to be like taking your classes, doing your work everything that has to do with school i feel like this is a very obvious one but i just feel like i work better in like scholarly settings if that makes any sense um when i was in school when i would be like literally anywhere in school i would actually get my work done and it's just a lot harder to do it at home because i have tvs and phones and everything everywhere it's just a lot more difficult for me to concentrate at home so yeah i think it's important to have a designated area keep it neat and just keep everything that's like for school there don't put anything else there because that is how you get distracted Trust me. But yeah, I actually need to follow that tip myself because I get so, 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 so distracted so easily. The next tip is to try not to take on so much during the school year. I feel like because we've been away from school for so long, I don't know if this is just me or everyone, but I feel kind of like excited to go back. Like I kind of miss it. 
and I know I'm not physically gonna go back but it's been a little while without classes and I'm just really kind of excited which is really really weird and it'll probably be gone after the first day honestly I tend to like confuse excitement with motivation so I think like because I'm so excited I feel so motivated that I get burnt out so easily and it sucks and that's something that I really really need to work on so try not to take on too much just try not to burn yourself out because you're gonna get very frustrated for this semester easily if you do that um and especially because it's online it's like a new experience for I think all of us even our professors like a lot of them are used to in person and now all of a sudden they're just switched 100% to online okay so for this next tip I actually tried it out this past summer semester where my classes were online I mean I was only taking two classes online and now I'm gonna be taking like six classes online there is a bit of difference but it actually really worked out for me and this tip is to create like a word document for every single one of your classes i was doing like traditional note taking where i had a journal for each class and i would write down every note for that but it just i think it was because it was in person so now that it's online it's easier to just have one document for for class and just write down every every like note and stuff and i also found this like extra like helpful because on word there's like a little search bar on top where you can search any like keyword and it'll like help you like find it so that was really helpful like during assignments and stuff and yeah it just kind of helped me stay a little bit more organized and i'm gonna go ahead and do that again for this coming semester because it was really helpful and i really really liked it this next tip i kind of mentioned it briefly but it is to attend your zoom meetings all of them all of them all of them all of them <laughs> because it kind of goes back into trying to keep the same like daily routine. I'm sure the professors are going to schedule the Zoom meetings during like regular class time. Um, so that's really gonna help you keep up with that like routine. But also it's really important to not miss out on any of those Zoom meetings or Zoom classes or whatever, because you have no idea what the professors are gonna be talking about there. There might be extra credit opportunity, there might be like a review for an exam, or I don't know, the professor might help you out with some assignments, like you just never know where you're gonna miss out. And also because I think that there might be like a lot of confusion right now with everything being online because like I've said for the millionth time in this video, like this is such a new experience for all of us and we're obviously all gonna be learning at the same time. Um, so I know for me, I have some classes that like we're gonna be having weekly meetings, um, through zoom just to keep up with regular class time but there are also some classes that i'm gonna have like one meeting the whole semester and it's not even mandatory it just really depends on like what the situation is for every class but i would recommend going to every single one of them even if they're not mandatory um because you can really get some helpful information out of them okay so the last tip i have is probably like, the most important one and I kind of touched on it a little bit throughout this whole video. The last tip is to just give yourself credit. Like we are all experiencing this for the first time at the same time. Like we are all going to be learning together as we go. I mean, we're living in the middle of a freaking pandemic, you guys. Like that's crazy. And I think it's just important to make sure you give yourself credit and make sure you are doing fine above everything else. Like I get that school is really, really, really important and it is to me too, trust me. But I think you are more important than some grades, you know? So yeah, make sure you check up on yourself. Make sure you give yourself the credit that you deserve for everything you're gonna be doing, everything you're gonna be experiencing because again, it's, it's new for all of us and we're all just gonna learn as we go. Okay, so this is gonna be it for this video. I'm sorry that it was kind of short, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys learned something out of it. I really appreciate you guys watching this. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload a new video. Uh, make sure you like this video if you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, leave a comment down below of any more tips you guys might have. And yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys next time. <laughs> Bye.